Hayden in this film has moved up to um, a level nine. He's gone past Obi. Now the difference between a level eight and a level nine really is the dark side. You have to go through each level in order to attain the next level. And if you do it too quick, you're going to get in trouble. So that's how I work on his, you know, his downfall is going to be aggression. Obi is also aggressive. They're almost the same, those two, because they've learned, they've come up through the same way, taught by Qui-Gon, Tyrannus, Yoda. It's the same line. They are sort of mirror images, but they, uh, they're certainly different. They just match each other perfectly. On this, there's much more action than in the previous two. I tried to get a load of stump people in. First of all, I get the sword fighter, so I was lucky enough to get Kyle rolling again, who I was double count Dooku on Attack of the Clones. I needed a good Palpatine double. Kyle brought a friend of his along called Michael Burns, who has been amazing. And then I needed to get a team of stunt riggers that run ahead of us on the stages, just because we never get any time, and they just make sure everything's gonna happen. No matter how you do it in films, you're always using stunt doubles for certain amounts of action set pieces. The older actors, Christopher Lee and Ian and Yoda, it's more difficult for them to do the highly physical types of work. So you use a combination of stuntmen and the actors to create the sword fight in a way that is you know, realistic and looks good. And then occasionally, uh, the advantage we have now is that we can put digital faces on the stuntmen and we can go closer in on them. We don't have to sort of hide their face and everything the way we used to, and that's a, that's a huge advantage. But you still need uh, the stunt performer to do the work. One of the most difficult sequences we had was the fight sequence between Palpatine and Mace. It was always our idea to use the two stunt doubles to do the majority of the work, but George really was reluctant to do that. The thing of it is the fight has to be changed. You can't, you can't change Ian, you gotta change the fight. He wanted to be close up. He really wanted to be right in Mace's face and he really wanted to be on um, Ian. So there was confusion on the day that we actually began shooting. There are places in there where they're not fighting, where they just move in and stuff. I thought that's what we would do to fight. Well, I think we can do a digital face, but I don't think we can do it like, you know, in a waist shot. And virtually, Ian and Sam had to learn everything. Two shots, shots, shots. Okay, ready. And he's coming in. Sam, he's moving in. I'm watching, baby. Back up. Got my hands going. All right. It was a testament to Nick again and his ability to be able to think on his feet and really be able to solve the problem. And we suddenly got the film back on track after about 30, 35 minutes of discussing what it is that we needed to do. All right, start. Ready. And action. <laughs> I mean, something happens to our actors when they work with Nick. He makes stunts fun for them, so there's no fear factor whatsoever. <laughs> Nick, Nick, you're supposed to hang on. <laughs> Sam, for example, I mean, he had to jump out of a window, and we were going to put him in a harness and everything else. Nick would turn to him and say, what are you talking about? You're not going to have a harness. You're a star. You're lying. You're jumping out that window, and you're going to jump onto a stunt mat, and that's the way we're going to do it. And Sam said, yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah, fantastic. And that's all they did all afternoon. Sam just kept on jumping off the balcony and jumping right into the mat. They just have fun with it, and that's what Nick is able to do with all of our actors. He makes stunt work fun for them. Oh, my God, I'm awake. <laughs> it's morning. Obviously, for the audience, they like it. They like the peril, so they like it to be real. On this movie, it looks like we're going to end up doing most of the stunts for real. When you have young actors like you and Hayden, uh, they can do most of their own stunts, they do most of their own sword fighting. They do do all those fights. They are that fast. And it's all them, ladies and gentlemen. It really is.